Bum, bum, <clears throat> Hi, my name's Alia. I'm here to react to how the universe is way bigger than you think. Um, someone recommended I watch this. Actually, Mega Twingo. Mega Twingo recommended that I react to this. So thank you for that recommendation. Um, it's a quick little video, so I thought might as well just get it done and out because um, it'll be quick to get out uh, if you're waiting on death note i'll have the third episode out later today um and i have two weeks ahead on patreon if you want that um but yeah right now let's just watch this video and just figure out the universe the universe is like i don't know <laughs> There's always those times, you know, like in high school, you get high for the first time or whatever, and you're like, oh, the universe, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. For me, I've, I used to think about like, what if our universe is like the size of an atom in another universe, you know? That's where my high thoughts came in. <laughs> but anyway, let's into this and see how big it really is because isn't it just constantly expanding like from the big bang it's just still moving outward that's pretty much all i know from about the universe so let's get into this and learn some new stuff thank you for watching yeah <laughs> this is earth you live here on this planet somewhere and everything that you've ever known is located right here but just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest... Hold on. First of all, just like the size of a human compared to like an ocean this big is already insane. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah. The okay. Moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies. But in reality, the moon isn't this close to our planet. It's actually about this far away. 384,400 kilometers away from you right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance. And if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days Oy. to drive the entire distance. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual I read human somewhere has ever away from the Earth. The moon's diameter is greatest achievements. It's like this is what the, the same Earth would look like from there if you were standing there or with smaller them. than and if you wanted to commute um smaller than like I don't know if it was North America or just the United States. But I don't know, yeah, I read somewhere that like it's smaller than like the whole of the united states but i don't know that doesn't really seem right <laughs> with somebody back at home it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at mm. this is a photo that was taken on mars and that tiny dot that you see there is earth as seen from the martian surface Whoa. on average mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from earth but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers that means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In Damn. addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction which would render instant Dang. communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom out even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. Didn't that go by uh, Pluto? Okay, like I was saying, um, isn't, isn't this the one that, the Voyager 1, isn't that the one that is like going by Pluto or it's going to go like by Pluto? So I remember in middle school, one of my science teachers, I think, was talking about how there's a, I don't know, we have something up there that's on its way to go to Pluto, but it hadn't made it when I was in middle school. But it's been like almost 10 years since then, so 
I don't know. Who knows? It might have already passed Pluto now. Because there was recently, I remember there was, like, it was, like, the newest, most clear picture of Pluto that we've ever seen, that, like, humans have ever seen. And maybe it was probably from that. Okay, but anyway. Also, Pluto. How y'all feel about Pluto? I still feel very betrayed about it getting kicked out of the solar system. And I wasn't, like, nine years old. Ugh. Anyway. U meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the sun is. Whoa. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single mm. photograph ever taken in all of human history. This tiny pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, if you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, That's lived so out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love, every hopeful child, every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. That's so crazy. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. It's on the way out? Once we go beyond the solar system, we I arrive it was in just our orbiting. interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star yep. Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. So in other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour, like in our previous example Wildly to the moon, to <laughs> it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and oh it wouldn't gosh. even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy. And we're still just in the Earth Milky Way. Right here. This yellow Ugh, dot is the crazy. furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. Also, how y'all feel about aliens? They have to exist somewhere, is my thinking. And I don't think they're like little Martians or whatever. I just think there's absolutely no way that we are the only living organisms in the entire universe. Like, that's just kind of impossible to me. There has to be, and like, yeah, that's pretty much all I mean with aliens. It's just like another life form. Not, it doesn't exactly have to be intelligent or like whatever, but there's no way that there's zero other life forms in the universe. That's how I feel. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. Damn. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. That's so crazy. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. Can I also say it's just insane that scientists have like figured out where these are, like the placements of these other galaxies and shit. Insane. 
Zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of. Whoa. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even Damn. the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an oh enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see- Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, this is like, I feel like the extent this picture i feel like i've seen is like the extent of the universe but holy shit we're still just a tiny 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 little dot in there the achaea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything this is the observable universe and it contains everything that and keyword observable like there's probably stuff out here too we just can't see and don't have no a way to <laughs> Oh. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, Holy which shit. together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light Damn. years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. Billion. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies mm -hmm. beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. Whoa. And the light from some place- That's crazy. That's so crazy to think about. It's literally just the light hasn't had the time to get here yet. Oh my gosh. May never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away very from us faster <laughs> than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never in an infinite amount of time reach Earth. Meaning Damn. that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. Mm -hmm. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times exactly the speed of light, that means. then this would seem to suggest that at the Just present like day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable is universe. That? that number for reference looks like this, with Whoa. this many zeros. Okay, hold on, let's, let's count them. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22 if you count that. Holy shit. Or sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center Former of Pluto, planet. but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar Whoa. situation to this. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much, Mega... Mega Twingo, thank you so much for this recommendation. This was insane. Like, yeah, I knew the universe was big, but, like, that's really insane. And the fact that, like, I don't know, I never even thought about, like, uh, the stuff outside the observable universe is literally just too far away. It can't, it doesn't have the time to travel to where we could see it. Like, that's really, really insane. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you so much for the recommendation. If I can talk. Um, let me know 
what else you want to see. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.